The Nets was able to find a way to win tonight after the comments Kyrie Irving made about the team losing their third straight game to the Detroit Pistons. He says the team is average. Let's get into that right after the jump. Yeah, I ain't cut no chases with this because it's time to go ahead and let it be said. And you need, you guys need to hear this because enough is enough. Welcome back to Tomorrow League Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. That's right, guys. Subscribe to this channel. Like this channel. Comment on these videos. Share these videos. Click that notification bell so that you can get all upcoming videos. And guess what? You can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. Guys, Kyrie Irving has been making his rounds with the comments he's been making over the past, over the past 24 hours concerning his teammates after they lost their third game to the Detroit Pistons. Guys, guess what? Yes, they've lost three games in a row. They lost uh, to the Detroit Pistons the other night by 11, the 76ers by 16, and the Raptors by 6. Now, Kyrie says that the team that, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Kyrie says that the team has a lot to contend with when they go out and play every night. Like, for instance, they have to contend with the officials. They have to contend with the NBA pulling a uh, player from their team due to COVID. He, they all, like I said, they also also have to deal with the refs, and they're just battling through so many odds. Like, oh my God, they're battling through so much, and they're just not letting us have a chance to win. Man, give me a break. Let's unpack this crap right now. Yes, tonight the Nets beat the Pacers. I mean, guys, let's be real here. The Pacers are really still trying to find themselves, especially with Olin Depot being traded off to the uh, Houston Rockets. Not to mention, you got Carlos Levert, who's out due to um, the uh, due to him failing his physical when he got traded from the Nets to the Indiana Pacers. Now, let's be real here. Yes, Kyrie keeps saying that the team is average, but one thing we got to remember. All of the young talent that they had, that was true talent that was out there balling, and he got to the playoffs last year without him being on the team, where are they now? They're all traded away to other teams. Why are they trade to other teams, you ask? Because they needed Derrick on James Harden in, in uh, Brooklyn to help them win games. But guys, you know what? <clears throat> let's, 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 I'm, I'm going to dig in a little deeper with this. We already know the Nets are ranked third in the Eastern Conference right now. And of course, the Indiana Pacers, who they just beat, they're ranked number six. I mean, guys, Indiana Pacers have not been a higher seed in the Eastern Conference than fourth in, what, eight years now? So I'm like, let's be real here. Either they're from four all the way down to eight or out of the playoffs altogether. So, yes, Kyrie, you guys should have beat the Nets. You should have beat the Pacers tonight, hands down. I mean, they didn't really have a shooter out there they're looking at the stats. Of everyone that played tonight, their stats was, I mean, terrible. You had guys out there that was going three for 17. Brogdon didn't hit that many, didn't hit that many shots tonight. Brock, like I said, Brogdon didn't score tonight. He he didn't, Brogdon missed a lot of shots tonight. And I mean, come on, guys. A lot of the jump shooters, they have off nights, and that's understood. But come on, let, hey, this is the one, this is the one thing that stood out to me tonight. Can you please explain to me how in the world did James Harden and Kyrie Irving both go to the free throw line more than the Pacers team combined? That's correct, guys. They went to the line a total of 27 times between the two of them. So ask, answer me this question. Riddle me this. If the Pacers won by 10, excuse me, if the Nets won by 10 and Kyrie and Harden both went to the line a total of 27 times, and yes, they did go 27 for 27 at the line, do you really think the Pacers had a chance to win? So I guess Kyrie figured he was using a little, that little mind, that Jedi mind trick to go ahead and get everybody, you know, may put them on notice, say, hey, we see what you guys are doing. You guys are out here trying to make us lose games. The same kind of crap that Kevin Durant pushed off on everybody when he got pulled out the game against Toronto because of a positive COVID test from someone that he was around. Guys, you know what? I'm going to be totally honest with you. It's high time that both of you start taking responsibility for your crap. Reason why I say this is because the simple fact is, Kevin Durant, you already know COVID is out here and it's running rampant. Now, if you are like your teammate who thinks the world is flat and don't believe COVID is real, that's cool. You keep doing the things that you're doing. And every time you get your behind pulled out of the game, don't get mad about it. Just understand you signed up for this. Kyrie Irving, you are what? One of several VPs of the NBA Players Association. I'm sure you already know how the inner workers of a lot of this stuff is going on, and you are already aware that if you test positive and if they do contact tracing on your behind and you've been around somebody that tests positive, what's going to happen, sir? You're going to get pulled from the game. But I got a question for you also, Kyrie Irving, and I'm sure none of you even asked this. When Kevin Durant got pulled out of the Raptors game, why did Kyrie sit out against the 76ers? If you're sitting back talking about the team as average, brother, if you're not playing every game, you really don't have much to say. 
this is the thing. <clears throat> the Brooklyn Nets wanted Kevin Durant, but they, they had to take you in order to get Kevin Durant. Listen, brother, all I'm saying to you is this. The way that you cut down your teammates is totally uncalled for. When your behind is not playing in games, they're out there busting their hump, trying to do the best that they can to help the team get a dag on W. You, on the other hand, want to come back and cut them off at the ankles. That's piss poor. That is a piss poor teammate, period, point blank. I mean, yeah, I give you credit. You made, do, you made a shot in a NBA uh, championship series game while you were with the Cleveland Cavaliers to help your team win. But you remember, remember one thing. If it wasn't for the block, you still wouldn't have been there. If it wasn't for the free throw, one free throw out of two that he made, you still wouldn't have been there. So the thing is this. The only person who should be talking about something average right now, it ain't you. The one thing you should be doing is look at yourself in the mirror to find out just how average you really are. Because remember one thing, the Boston Celtics, when you got hurt, they made it to the playoffs without you. The Nets, they got where? To the playoffs without you. They had ballers out there that was out there on the court scoring at a rapid rate. Why? Because they finally had the opportunity to actually take shots. I mean, on average, you on, on an average night, you can mess around and take, what, 25, 26 shots? Compared to your average teammate on the Nets right now, they may get up seven shots a night. May. I mean, yeah, tonight, yeah, they get everybody's getting up shots now. Why? Because Kevin Durant is not there. But the thing is this. You guys wanted additional offensive power out there on the court with you. But you got to remember one thing. Basketball is offense and defense. I get it you guys wanted to put together your favorite uh, YMCA All-Star Championship team. That's all well and great. Hey, I, I, I salute you on it. Saying everybody need to be on notice, no one's going to be on notice because guess what? You'll find a way just like you normally do to go ahead and blow up the team's chemistry with the comments that you make. Just relax, man. Go out there, enjoy yourself, and play ball. I mean, all of this chaos that you're creating amongst the team and with your coach, uh, for instance, yeah, you say you got a thumb injury. I get all of that. But for you not to high-five your coach as you're walking off the court after you lost to the Detroit Pistons speaks volume. But remember, you're the one who said, we all are a coach. So since you all are, since you all are the coach, give that man the respect that he's due because he's out there trying to coach the team to a W. But guys, you know what? I'm going to leave it alone because I could go on and on. I could talk about daggone uh, Dan and Tony system that y'all running right now. Y'all ain't playing no defense and y'all not going to play no defense. The only person that's out there really trying to do something different outside of what they normally do is James Harden. And the sad part about it is it's going to come that point in time. You're going to need James Harden to go ahead and put them, put them buckets in for you. And guess what? He ain't going to be able to do it. You know why? Because he ain't going to have no legs because he's been hanging and banging down there in the, in the paint trying to get daggone, um, rebounds and try to, you know, trying to get to the free throw line to get those extra points to help you guys get over the hump. You have no one to blame. The real beast in the East probably will be the 76ers because collectively they are a complete team. Even if you get you a shot blocker, you guys are still not going to be able to do anything because guess what? That shot blocker is going to clog up the paint, which means you guys are not going to be able to drive to the hole like you normally do. So what you should have did was should have sat back, shut your lips, took the teammates that you had, Went ahead, coached them up, built them up, helped them get to where they need to be so that they can go ahead and help you guys possibly win a championship. But no, you didn't want to do that. So now that you got your all-world YMCA championship team, be content. Hey, contend with that, relax, and enjoy yourself. But until next time, guys, if you like the content, please like, share, subscribe. Also, you can follow us on social media. That's right. Just follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. Guys, don't forget, like these videos, share these videos, and comment on these videos and don't forget guys you can follow us on social media as well the links are where down below in the description and remember be that one and lead